Hey everyone, it's Big Z and welcome back to Mass Effect. Okay, so I'm here to talk to do 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 uh Kaku, there you are. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the council's officials. Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? You sent a recon team out into the Artemis Tau cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Moth. A uh, Thresher Moth? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Can I help? Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. That sucks, man. That's the only thing that can make it worse, is it's just like, oh, I've been trying to figure this out for months. Families have been wondering what happened to their... Standing there. Anyways, families have been trying to figure out what happened, you know, to their loved ones for months. And they're dead, and now I have to go tell them that. Like, that absolutely sucks. We need to go to C-Sec. I believe. Because there is only other one other thing that we need to do. No. We don't need to go here, but it's upstairs. Uh, there's only one other thing we have to do on here. The rest of them was like, find the Turian emblems and find this and that. Uh, so actually we only have one more mini mission that we have to do on here. The Quarians endangered the entire galaxy when they let the Geth break free. I hope your people are properly contrite, Tally. As the Turians are properly contrite for releasing the Genophage upon the Krogan. You're assuming that sterilizing them was a mistake. Guys, come on. Please, we're a team. I get that you have your own quarrels in between, you know, with each other, but for now, just work like a team, okay? Don't fight in front of me. Just fight when I'm not around, because that makes everything better. <sighs> Jeez. Whatever quarrels you guys have with each other, they can... Oh, mother trucker, I didn't want to go up this high, dang it. I thought it just went up to, uh, what am I thinking of? The area that represents each of the different alien species. Alliance oh, officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. That's good. It's always good to seek help when you need it. You guys have any comments on that? No? Okay. I also talked to Tali in between episodes. And it seems like the Geth make a lot more sense now. Why they have so much hostility towards us. Oh, this is the one. Okay. I was like, I know one of these elevators heads to where I'm trying to go. I literally took it, like, literally five seconds ago. But I... I, Exogeny Corp recently uh, uh, released an official statement regarding their missing survey team in the Hades Gamma Cluster. According to the statement, the remains of the survey team were discovered not far from their abandoned research camp. There were no survivors. It is believed the researchers were the victims of a random attack by raiders or mercenaries. Names will be released after next of kin are notified. Anyways... I think it's kind of interesting the way she explained how the uh, geth work. It's kind of like, I'm trying to think of how to explain it in like computer terms or in like terms that kind of make sense, but it's like one of those things where it's like, the more of them that there are, the less work they have to do personally. It's like once they get into a group, they're able to share their ideas and have an influence on each other, but at the same time, 
since they have that freedom of like that freedom of mind running in the background it's easier for them to also have a sense of individuality and they can kind of act on their own are you nasana where's nasana oh she's in the lounge okay um i think that's kind of interesting i think that can kind of be seen in people too where it's like once you get into a group you get into the group mindset you still have your own individual opinions but as a whole you agree with those around you and you'd rather work as a team with those around you than uh go against each other if that makes sense commander shepherd i am nasana dantius yes you are i see you got my message it sounded like you needed some help i do my sister dahlia is a crewman on a cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the traverse her ship was attacked by privateers there were no reported survivors i'm sorry for your loss this is where it gets complicated Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive. The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. Do you want me to deliver the ransom? I've already transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Keep your reward. I'll bring your sister back. I promise. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right woman for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. Okay. Well, I kind of wish he hadn't promised that I was going to bring her back, but I guess we're bringing her back. Is he still in here? Hey, you. I want to talk to you. Is it going to be the same conversation as last time? So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. Why did you come to see me, Shepard? Did Ambassador Udina send you? Okay, yeah, it's going to be the same conversation. I came on my own. I need you to humans are always... Uh, was there something you needed, Commander? Nope. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Just wanted to peek in and see how you're doing. It looks like you're doing okay, so I'm gonna go now. Wait, we have to see the Elcor. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we can go talk to them. I miss them so much. Like, they are like the one group of aliens I would be absolutely cool with being an actual, like, species outside of Mass Effect. Like, if they actually existed, I would be A-okay with that, because they are like, I don't know, I just, I don't know how I got attached to them so quickly, but I absolutely adore them. <laughs> hey, buddy! Surprised welcome. You have returned, human. Genuine inquiry. What may I do for you this day? Oh, it's the same questions, dang it. Nothing. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Okay, I'm just happy I got to talk to him. <laughs> oh, I just... They just... I don't know, they seem so friendly. And I love the fact that, like, they're so... What's the word I'm looking for? They're so, uh, transparent. Like, they can't hide how they're feeling. It's like they have to process how they're feeling by actually saying it out loud. Which is awesome. I love it. There's, like, no filter. I don't know. I just, I like their species. I really like them. <laughs> then, like, they just, I guess, because they seem so chill, the rest of the species are like, we have beef with each other, and we have beef with this and this species, and, you know, we pick fights with other species, and they're just like, we're here. We're just here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into the conversation. Either way. 
I don't want to end the episode yet, so what else can we do? Uh, that's not something we can do here. That's not something we can do here. I think we've done- oh, we haven't done this. Well, I don't know where to find him anyway. So it came up after I, like, did the signature and everything and talked to him. He's probably in the same spot, so... I don't know. What mission- what do we have to do on missions? Da 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 da! Meet with Anderson. He's at Flux? We're gonna have a conversation in Flux? Oh, he's- okay. Okay, okay, I see what's going on. There's a little bit of, a, uh, a little bit of, uh, stuff and things happening behind the scenes that he doesn't want other people knowing about. Okay. Hopefully he still doesn't have any beef with me about him getting forced into retirement. I still feel bad about that. It's always nice to have someone else around that can kind of, like, help you do your checks and balances. Like, a lot of people get really annoyed when, you know, other people play devil's advocate. But I kind of like having someone there to be like, well, this will happen if you do that, just so you know. Because, admittedly, I am not the sharpest tool in the shed. And I don't really think things through all the time. I usually just go with my gut. And sometimes I am absolutely wrong. So it's nice to have someone else there to check you and be like, hey, just as a heads up, this might be a better idea. Or at least you should think about this or consider this. Huh? What? Uh, not right now. It's gonna be another thing where it's like, if I find mini missions, I'm just gonna do them in between episodes. So he is in flux. There we go. Gotta keep this on the move. Gotta keep it going. Okay. I guess, admittedly, coming here to talk seems a lot less conspicuous than anywhere else. Yeah, you should. Say what around? Oh, that's Garrus. I was like, can I help you? Why are you following me? Where is he? I'll see if I can talk to the Doran, you are a loud talker, you know that? It said he was in flux. Where is he? The more you push and prod, the more she'll run away. Is this a casino? What the heck? Huh. This game is so detailed. I wonder how long it took them to make the game. Probably a uber long time. I don't want to gamble right now. I want to find this dude. Where is he? It said that he was in here, right? He's waiting for you in the wards at Flux. Uh, maybe he's not actually in Flux. I don't see him. Maybe he's outside. Let's check over here. Another bouncer. Why does everyone want to talk to me? I'm not that interesting. I'm just trying to get stuff done. I just want to try to do stuff and things. Okay. What? Okay. Whatever you say. I didn't mean to do that. Dude, where the heck is this kid? Frick. Dang it. Dang it. Ugh. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this episode here, and in the next episode I will have found Captain Anderson and we can move on with our lives. So I do want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!